Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Now in this video, I will show you how to promote uh, domain controller with server uh, 2022. So let us start. Already we have uh, installed uh, server 2022. Uh, so now there is a fresh uh, server here already installed. Now we have to uh, install domain uh, uh, active directory domain service role and DNS. Uh, so I have already renamed the server and uh, I have also provided uh, IP as well. So from the manage, we have to choose uh, add uh, role and features. Uh, then next uh, here, here is the uh, wizard and uh, we will find the DNS service and active directory domain services. Uh, then some additional feature we have to add them and then next it will take some uh, several minutes so I will fast forward in the video welcome back uh, the active directory domain service and DNS already installed now we have to promote our domain so here is the option promoting domain controller uh, now we, we here is a three option here if you add a existing domain controller then you can add to choose the first option uh, and the second option, add a new uh, domain controller in the existing forest. That's when if, if you have a uh, existing forest, then here you can add a new domain. But uh, we, um, we want to add a forest, uh, the first domain controller and the, the first forest. That's when we have to choose the third one. That's when they add a new forest. That's when it, it is our first domain. Then I am uh, writing my name as a domain and uh, my name and the dot local. And it is searching the net bus name. If the if, if the net bus name available in my network, it will not allow. Or if it is not uh, uh, available net bus name in my network, uh, it will allow me. So it it is searching our network. Uh, if there any this type of uh, net bus name is available, so already. It is passed. Here is the domain functional level. That's when I am uh, using server 2022 uh, as a default. Uh, it's uh, from, uh, showing the domain forest and domain and forest level uh, to the server 16. But uh, I, I will say choose here the lowest domain functional level because if there are any lower version Windows client, uh, if you choose the 16, uh, it will not support Windows 7. Windows 8 or XP. So I am choosing here server 2008 R2 and I have I have already uh, put TSRM uh, password that means the disaster recovery password. If the server is come, uh, if there is any incident uh, relating to uh, uh, domain controller then that time I, we need this uh, password. So if we keep in mind uh, and keep it safe this password. Yes, uh, the welcome back again. Uh, my net based name already showing here only the my name and dot local is the uh, domain extension. So uh, here is some where is my sysvol uh, file will stored. Here is the C and Windows is default version. There is nothing changed here. I am taking all the uh, script uh, for copy. I am copying the all a uh, script. That's when if you are not using the zero mode, you can do it uh, using the command. Yes, uh, the installation is done and uh, it is about to sign it, sign out. After restart, we will back again. The restart is done and we are opening the user and the computers from the manage. And uh, here we can manage active directory user and computers and other things. Our domain controller is done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.